All right, Jenna and Chloe, you are good to go. Awesome, thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I hope everyone's having a great summer. So we're here at the Orb Toys office in Nova Scotia, Canada. It's very hot and humid here, so we're having some great weather. So we're so glad you guys have joined us. Um, I'm Jenna, and Chloe is going to be joining me as well today. Hey! <laughs> So we're gonna have some fun doing plush craft with you today. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a plush craft pillow. I chose the unicorn today. I hope you guys have picked something up from your local Michael store, whatever pillows. We've got lots of different themes. This rainbow poop is super fun. So this is what our pillow is gonna look like when we're done. And Chloe is going to teach you how to do one of our 3D sets. So today we chose the dogs, which yes. are super, super cute. Like, Look at his little face. Look I his love ears. them. So Glory's going to teach you how to do this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to jump in right away. I'm going to take um, my kit. Yeah, take your kit. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask Alexa, and she can just shout out them to us throughout everything. If you want to slow down, go faster, just let us know, okay? All right, let's get started. So we're going to open our boxes together, okay? Yes, let's have an unboxing. Oh, hit that camera. <laughs> okay, let's do an unboxing. Okay. So, you can use it over here too. All right, let's break into it. I've got my fabric. I've got my pillow. One, this little bag. Two, three bags of fabric for three puffers. On this side. There, so I'm going to open up all my bags. I like to dump out all of my pieces so that I can see them. And I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to bring up my instructions that I have right here. I have a plush craft stylus. This is what we need to put the fabric into the pillow. And I have a unicorn eye. It's all embroidered, which is really cute. And there's a little piece of Velcro that'll help it stay on. So I'll show you how to do that next. <clears throat> Okay, let's boogie um, with my set. So this is like a three puppy set, right? So I've got my three puppy bodies and this is what they look like. They're super cute. Yeah. And these are great because if you have siblings or friends over, it's nice because everyone can take their own project. Yeah, it's like, yeah, sleepover, slumber party, like super fun craft. Um, boo -boo -boo. So I think I want to, I'm gonna do the, the little Boston Terrier Frenchie guys. So this bag <clears throat> is what we're gonna focus on. So all of those bags of fabric are all different dogs. Yeah. So it's even easier for you guys at home to be able to split them up if you wanna do that. Yeah, they're all split up. So this is kind of like the poodle pack. And then like the, is that the it's like a little bulldog. It's like a Sharpie or a little Sharpie. 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 Yeah. Pack. I'm, I'm bad at dog breeds. And then I'm gonna do you're going to do that carrier. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to unbox the stuff. So this is my plush craft pillow, as you can see. Um, there's no sewing. This all comes pre-stuffed. It's super, super soft on the back. It's nice and soft. And on here, there's a printed template that has all these little tiny numbers on it. So if I look at my instruction manual, you can see that each number corresponds with a different color of fabric. And it shows you here the finished design. So these little numbers also have little holes all in them. So that'll help you put the fabric in easier. So I'll show you how to put one in. I'm going to try to hold it up here and do it at the same time. So number ones right here are white. So I have a piece of white. I'm going to gently put it over here, over top of the one. I'm going to take my stylus and you're going to poke it in just like that. It's that easy. So then you follow everything going along. I'm going to do another one to show you guys really quick. I'm going to do a one over here. Stylus and poke it in. Super simple, right? Awesome. Super cool. So the technique in terms of the plushing itself, uh, whether it's a pillow or a 3D is essentially the same. Jenna and I are going to be using the same stylus. We're using the same type of fabric. It's just a little bit different in terms of following the instructions. 
the 3D kits come with a few more things. So I've got my pieces. These are the pieces that will help us make. Yeah, it is a Boston Terrier. Yeah, I wasn't lying. I, I, <laughs> I, I would probably never design you. It. I never trick you. And then, so then he's got eyes, ears, a little tongue, and a nose. So I'm going to take this pile of all of the pieces for all three dogs, and I'm just gonna pick out two eyes. And then with the eyes, it comes with cute little sparkly rounds that go behind the clear eye that then give eye color, right? So just super it's like a little goldy, goldy dot eyes. And then this comes with the felt pieces. Wait, these are the ones I need for this doggy. Felt pieces, individually wrapped again. So if you did have the, the mini three pack of these 3D, and you had two other pals, you can just give everybody their own pieces. Here's his little tongue, here's his little tail, <laughs> and here's the little ears. So we're gonna pop those in, and we can use the same plush craft tool to do the felt and the fabric. Okay, so let me just get these situated here. I wanna talk to y'all about uh, also kind of the differences and how you need to approach the 3D. So 3D Plushcraft, it comes with an instruction guide. It's really straightforward. Um, the colors are numbered the same way as they are on the pillow. However, on the actual little body of our doggies, there are little ridges and contours. I hope you guys can see those. You can kind of see it around the eyes and the nose area and the chest. And then there's little nubs on the top. That's to help me place the ears. So the corresponding guide for each pupper, there are numbers. So this will help me, instead of having physical numbers on the on the form, I have kind of like a map that I'm going to follow. And I'll know that number one is white and we want to make sure that his little forehead and his muzzle spot will be white. And then we'll be filling in these side parts with color number three, which via the instructions is black and so on and so forth. I need to show that to you again, or if you want me to kind of explain the technique for 3D in a different way, just let me know. Um, we're here to help and help you explore and get creative. So it's all good. How's it going over there, Jenna? It's going really nicely. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so I have a little bit of white started right here. So if you kind of give a small little tug on these pieces, they're not going to come out. The more you put in, the stronger they're going to get. So I can shake them upside down and side to side. They're going to stay in. So I actually made a mistake right here. I put a piece of pink in there where it really shouldn't have been. I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to quote Chloe. Oh. So if you make a mistake, it's super easy to fix. You just give a little tug and it pops right back out. No damage to the fabric, no damage to your pillow. So then you can keep going. So that's something that I'm working on. Nice. Over here with this guy. Cool. So well, I'm gonna start around the face and if you can see the contour ridge. I'm gonna start around his eye with the with the black color, um, just so that we can start filling in the face a little bit and then I can add the eyes so it looks yeah. a little bit more. But yeah, um, this kit comes with three separate stylus styluses as well. So each person, if you decide to, you know, share this activity with a friend, you'll each have all the tools that you need. Um, another technique to be aware of with 3D, the 3D plush craft is just making sure that the pieces aren't too close together. Um, on the pillow, it's you can see like the spacing in between here. We've done that for you. Mm -hmm. So the pillows are a bit more of like a, a beginner's project. These are really fun. If you just want to do something that's super satisfying on a rainy day, maybe. And then if you'd like a little bit more creativity or you find these ones too easy, that's when you can go to your 3D and have a little 
a little bit more fun with those and that your imagination can kind of flow or you can follow our instructions too. Yeah. There's also on the instruction guide that we do provide, there is a recommended kind of like spacing. So, uh, so you don't get them too close. Once upon a time, I was making one of these and I got the fabric pieces a little bit too close and it, it caused, um, yeah, what happened? I, it, it kind of caused the, that spot in the foam form to get a little bit weak. Okay. Um, and some pieces were falling out unnecessarily. Oh, okay. So they could fall out if maybe you're pushing too tight together. Yeah. Okay. But if you, if you give them enough space and if you see like as you push in, kind of the fabric would fill in that gap anyway. It's kind of like a cute little frill. You yeah. can't, even if they're a quarter of an inch apart or something, the fabric okay. itself will fill in the gaps. Yeah, because so. once you poke it in, it kind of fluffs out a little bit too. So yeah, that's it's good not for like it. super tight. So I'm moving on to a number two right now, and I hope you guys can see this. It's a silver sparkly fabric. It's super pretty. I don't know how the lights are doing with that, but it's like holographic silver on it, which makes it like a little bit of sparkle to your pillow. Does anybody have any questions so far? Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are following along at home. I can't wait to see what ones you guys are doing. I'd love to see a progress if you want to hold it up to the camera and show us. Just so we can show. Yeah. Oh, those look great, you guys. You see that, Chloe? Yeah. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Fast I think, I think and you, fast. I know. I think you've done this before. You don't need us. <laughs> I am very slow and meticulous with mine. I want to show y'all um, just a different kind of step aspect. I'm not gonna put all of the, the colors on there. First, I'm going to be putting in the right eye of our little pepper. Oh, grass is my guy. Nice one. So the, the eyes have a little nub on the back and normally what I try and do, there's a little, see the indent? That's where the, oop, it's the camera. There, the indent, that's where the eyeball is going to go. The stylus tip is thinner than the eye. So what I normally do is just give it a little preparatory. A little poke in there. Poke in there. Just to start it. Yeah, just because it just makes it a little bit easier when I need to just twist the eye. Ooh, he's got in a space. He yeah. looks crazy right yeah. now. Yeah, he looks a little silly now, but I yeah. promise it won't be like this forever. Okay. We're, we're, okay. We'll get it. We'll, yeah. Okay, we're going to get it. Yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We'll, we'll get it. <laughs> um, where are we here? Awesome. So, I'm just going to keep following the contour on the body of my Boston Terrier, who I don't have a name yet. You don't have a name for him yet? If anybody has any. Oh yeah, we can take suggestions for names. Like Definitely. What, what should we name the unicorn and what should we name our little our little Boston Terrier guy? Yeah. That Chloe is working on. That's always fun. I always like to name I always like to name things that I'm working on. I think it's it's fun. It gives them a personality. A personality, yeah. A yeah. little bit more emotional connection to oh, the yeah. project. Yeah. There's a with like the the three different dogs, even I do have friends and family that have these kinds of dogs and it's always kind of like a fun gift idea oh, as yeah. well. I'm going to show this again in case anybody is just tuning in right now. So I'm doing the pillow and following along my instructions and it's it's a fabric by number so it's kind of like a paint by number if you've done those before. So I have white pieces right now and they're number ones. So I just lay it over here and I poke it in. Just like that. And again, I'm gonna go through it really quick. If you make a mistake, give it a little tug and it comes right back out. No damage to your fabric or your template at all. Back to it. Back to it. So <clears throat> I started plushing this side of our little doggy's head. I'm gonna to go to the center now. We're gonna go through the middle. I'm going to follow the rules today. You're going to follow the rules today? Yeah. What? I do know that I could, if I wanted to, like, 
put a pattern on them, make them a little spotted. However, today I'm going to take color number one. And we're going to do his muzzly face part. Number one on the key is the white color fabric. So let's make that dream a reality. Let's go for it. <laughs> you do it, Bob. I'm also going to mention to anybody, if you want to watch this video at a later date, Michaels is recording the video and will be posting it tomorrow. I'm going to put the link in the chat if anybody wants to save that. Yeah, that's a great idea, Alexa. Or, you know, if we missed a step or something, you can watch it again and or maybe watch it with your sibling or somebody. So that's a great point, Alexa. Okay, so when I flush draft, I like to get more of like the boring colors out of the way. So I'm getting a lot of the white done first because I really like pink and purple. So mm. those are my favorite. So I like to save them for last. It's like when you eat cake. Yes. You know, and you save like a big scoop of like frosting or something at the end. Like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep working. I also, at least with 3D, when I, I like plushing around the face to make sure we can get some of the facial features on because it kind of just like helps me figure out like the spacing and of, of everything else. Yeah, I like doing the faces first too. It kind yeah. of helps them, you know, have a bit, like you said, like a personality. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm lost. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll do the horn next because that's like a super special part. So sometimes around your pillows, it's a little harder to do um, the flushing that's closer to the edge of the pillow. And that's okay. Sometimes you just have to wiggle it or like wiggle your hands back and forth and you'll get there. Or ask somebody for help. I have a question about tucking in the 3D puppy. Is it hard or soft? Oh. Oh. What does that feel like? The body? Yeah, the body. It's firm. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't really, it's not like a squishy or anything. You can't squish them, but... Yeah. He's not, he's not like super hard either. He's not like a rock. No. It's like a, it's like a hard foam texture. That has like the, the color coating. Yeah. Over top. So it makes a really satisfying like, I don't know if you can like put that up to the microphone and like see if you can get people to hear that. The, the plush sound. Yeah, the plush sound when you like put oh, it in. Let's like do hold that. it right up to the microphone. Okay. Oh, did I touch it? Did anybody hear that? It's kind of like a satisfying, like, make little... Yeah. That's when you know it's working. That's when you know it's good. Yeah. So I'm on to the kit that I have for the pups. Three colors. Three different colors. He's going to have a little gray snoot. And I'm going to add the nose now. So same vibe as before. Here's this little nose. He's so tiny. He's so little. And shiny. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, dog's nose have to stay wet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm going to pre-punch a little spot so that it's easier for me to insert his little nose. There you go. Yeah. I have a couple questions asking where to buy plush craft. Oh my goodness, great question. So if you go to your local Michael store, you can get the plush craft, any, any variety of different themes, all down in the kids crafting aisle. Um, we've got a great selection there. So we have the little mini 3D packs like Chloe's doing. Mm -hmm. We also, I'm gonna reach across you, sorry, Chloe. Oh yeah. We also have some bigger 3D guys. So the ones that Chloe are working on are like little small ones. Let's that do a trees. Let's do a proportions. Yeah. Can I show you guys a, yeah, a dog that's puppy. already done? So this is the bigger guy. Jen, yeah. ex you can explain it better because you're a designer. For it. <laughs> so the bigger guy comes all by himself and he's, he's nice and full. You can see that. So this is more of like an advanced extended project. And these ones take a little less time, mm -hmm. but they're still really fun if you want to do all three. I'm posting a link right now to anybody who would like to view them on the Michaels website. Perfect. Thank you, Alexa. But yeah, there's the, that's kind of like a good idea. Yeah, it's nice. like size difference. Yeah. 
I want to okay. put him in. I want to. Can he watch us? Yeah. He look, he's gonna go really fast. <laughs> I don't want to let him down. Look, look how fast he's going. <laughs> <laughs> like to pretend he's in a car. Yeah. Yeah. With his uh, with his head out the window. Yeah, with his head out the window, and he's just cruising. He's cruising. Yeah, bud. He looks like a beagle, maybe. I don't know. Saint Bernard. I'm really bad at dog breeds. I'm not. Well, he's not well versed. No. All right, here we go. Getting to the pink. <laughs> oh, your fave. Yeah, the fave is coming up. Do you want to hold your little face up to the camera to see how it's coming along? Show everybody at home. Woo! He's, so he's looking got, cute. Yeah, he's got sparkly little golden eyes. I'm gonna. I'm about to put the second eye in now. Ooh. I might actually hold up a little bit higher for y'all. So boom. And now, yeah, it's it's eyeball time. So actually, yeah, this guy's got golden eyes. The other kits, <laughs> the other kits for the other doggies come with blue. And you take the disc, the glittery disc. Put it behind the clear eye. And now the eye is blue. And that's lovely. And hey, maybe I'll just do two different colored you want eyes. To do two different color eyes. You know yeah. what? Follow your heart, Chloe. I'm gonna this follow is, my heart. This is all about having creativity yeah. and a little bit of imagination. You can customize any way you want. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Yes. So much. Pizzazz. Oh man, now, oh, now he's so cute. Do we have any suggestions for names yet, you guys? Or no name suggestions? Come on, help us. Now that he's got two different color eyes, maybe that'll help. Yeah. Um, where are we at? Okay, so I'm gonna put more on the top of his noggin so that we can get their ears okay. in here. Yeah. I want to see what you guys are working on again. Can you show me a bit more progress? How are things coming along? Oh, look at that. I see there's a panda see pillow. Panda ah, pillow. He's so cute. You're so fast. Oh my goodness. So fast. So fast. She's, she's a pro. She's a pro. You're, you're a plush craft pro. You're putting me to shame. No, she could just be, be joining our class right now. That's true. Yeah. Those are looking awesome, you guys. This is so cool. I'm having so much fun playing with you guys. Yeah. I really like to do these on a rainy day. Um, I like to put a movie on and I like to cozy up and start doing a plush cup. It's really relaxing. It is. It's it's relaxing. It's meditative. Oh, an owl. I see an owl. There's still stuff happening. Oh, there's a unicorn. Unicorn. Another unicorn pillow. Another unicorn, pillow. unicorn pillow. Oh, there's like a husky. Husky pillow. Oh. oh, there's another 3D. It's coming along. He doesn't have any eyes yet, but he's looking real cool. Oh, there's a whole gaggle of kittens happening. There's a kitten oh party God. happening right there. This is the coolest. Chloe, kitten party. Kitten party <laughs> 2020. Kitten party 2020. Oh, man. You guys are so fun. This is like, awesome. And the owl. Oh, I love birds. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to get too personal. <laughs> I like, I just love the owl plush prop. It's like the cutest thing. That's another thing. There's different kits that come with kind of different unique pieces. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not all, well, even like the doggy ear shapes are going to be different to the specific kind of breed of doggy that you're going to make and things yeah, like that. Yeah. They're all like a little unique. They all have their own little personalities and spins. Yes. I think I'm about ready to put the ears on. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make him a little bit more. He's coming to life. So, I'm gonna follow the guide. We've got the little, the little nubs right here. I'm gonna take the ear, this left ear, right ear. Is there a left, left and right? Right. All right, sure. I'm watching, I'm looking at the instructions here, and this is the left. This is the oh. right. 
I didn't realize that there was a right way or a wrong way. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a rule follower. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Boy, except for the, the eyes, we did give our pup that's true. multicolor that's true. eyes. You did go off, off course I a little bit. Of course, but that's okay. That's fine. He looks cute. Yes. Just give it a good push in there. Yay! That's <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh! Look at him! Look at him! Back. Huge ears. Huge ears. Awesome. Okay. Love that. Okay. Yeah. It's a good moment. Yeah. The more you work on like his little face and it's just coming to life. Yeah. Okay. So good. Let me ask, are we supposed to have both? Um, if you're missing an ear, yeah, you're supposed to have both, but you don't have to have either the pillow or the 3D. We just wanted you to see both different styles that were that we're creating here together. Oh, well, the, the ears themselves. The ears you of, should have too. They are kind of cut the same way. For a second there, I thought that I had two right ears, but it's just because I had one of them flipped backwards. Flip over. Yeah. A question from I hope that Reese sense. asking, are the bigs dog soft? No, so all of these guys, you can see, I'll turn them upside down to show you. It's the same foam material. So you can give him like, oh, if you squish him a little hard, you can give him, um, he feels a little squishy, but not, not super, super plush and snuggly. That fixes his ear so he's not crazy. <laughs> Happy debut. He's a star. He's a star. Olivia, if you're missing any pieces, I'm gonna post our customer service email and you can contact us and we'll ship those right out to you. Yeah, you can get a parent to, to email us. Okay, I'm gonna show you another progress up close here, you guys. My unicorn is coming along nicely. There's a spot here for his eye, but I'm gonna save that to the end because I love that. It's like a finishing touch for my unicorn. I forgot to put the little doggy's tongue in. <gasps> Um, you can also, this is great, Chloe, because you can also take a piece out of yours if you made a mistake. If you'd like to take a piece out and then you can yeah. pop your tongue in. Yeah. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to take this piece out. There's already a hole. I'm going to reuse that same hole. Yeah, that's a good and idea. Put the little tongue in and boom. Ah! Yes. <laughs> He's a hot dog. Yay! We're having some hot weather. He's a Ooh. hot dog. Yeah. Chloe, on your doggy there, can yep. you show me that, or I guess for the owl pillow, can you show me where you would be putting the Velcro for the eyes? Velcro for the eyes. Oh, oh, I've got, I've got Velcro here. Okay, so I'll do the eye bit here. Yeah. So I have a piece of Velcro here. There's like the scratchy side, and then there is a little backing on it, and it will have stickiness. So, and then this is my eye. So the Velcro is meant for this eye. So what I do is I peel off the back because there's just like a piece of paper there. So I can peel that away. And now it's sticky like a sticker. See it's sticking to my finger. So I want to put that right on the pillow where the eye is going to go, like there. And then I take my eye, there's a back that it's just like a little bit fuzzy and I like to wiggle it back and forth. And that's how you put your eye on. And that's for the owl pillow? Yeah, so that's for a lot of the pillows. Um, cool. The 3Ds won't have Velcro. You just have accessories that you can like uh, pop in. Um, actually, no, there's uh, some Velcro. If you have a bow that you wanna put on your dog, sometimes there's a little Velcro for your bow. Yeah, so one of the other doggies in the 3D mini pack, the I think the Poodle would come with a little piece of Velcro the instructions advise to put it like between the ears on top of his little head. Yeah, but you can put it wherever you want. So always the scratchy side should go on some type of fabric. You want to put the sticky side to what you want to stick down to. Did that help? I hope that helped. If not, I can I can try to get another kit and I can show you something else if you'd like me to. Kristen said it did. Awesome. Perfect. All finished. Yes. How do you guys finish? You're so fast. You're so fast. It's because I just, all I do is talk. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm 
I'm a real, I'm a talker. You're one of those girls in school that would always say, Oh, oh Tristan, Tristan, I see your pillow that's beautiful. Oh, what did Tristan do? Show us, show us, show us. Oh, it's oh. the owl pillow. Woo. Classic. Yeah. That's Classic. awesome. <gasps> oh, there's a oh. butterfly that's happening. The husky, husky is done. The husky looks great. Oh, there's cat party again. Yes. Those kitties are out of control. They're just everywhere. Yeah. That's some fantastic. <laughs> that is great. Someone's got a big, who is that? Araya? Araya, you got the puppy. It's, uh, that's amazing. You totally have like the perfect technique in terms of making sure that the pieces aren't too close together. Oh, the leopard. oh fabulous. The leopard, wow. wow. Y'all have some real classic plush craft too. These are great. I'm yeah. so glad you guys had some kits to do with us. Yes. Okay, I'm almost... I, I, yeah, I really love the, the variety in the chat, especially considering it means that we can show each other, because we're all pals here, right? We can all show each yeah. other the different choices. I do have some other little 3D set aside here that I want to kind of do like a little, a little runway. Ooh, um, a runway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just kind of showing the different, yeah. the different like versions. Let's do a little show and tell of different ones. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think I'm getting in the zone now. Are you in the I'm zone? a little bit faster. So I'm gonna show you guys little. my box again. Cause sometimes I lose this tiny little piece of paper sometimes when there's all kinds of fun happening, I'm giggling. So you can always look at your box and there's instructions on your box. So this tells you that it's numbered. You can pop it in using this guy and then that's how you put your eye on. And the legend is always on the back too. So if you lose that little piece of paper, you can look at your box too. Or if you were doing plush craft with a friend, let's say if you had um, someone else that wanted to do the craft with you, it's nice because you can have two legends. I'm gonna turn that around. I need to look at what I'm doing, my finished guy. <clears throat> Just to finish up adding those little bits, on our terrier's behind, <laughs> you can see another contoured specific spot to add the tail. So I'm gonna do that. There's the tail piece, and there's big piece of felt part that's there. That is the part that's gonna go inside. Give it a little boop. And <laughs> there it is. Now it does look a little silly without the plush, but now that I know where the tail is meant to go, I gave myself enough space so that I don't over plush around his behind. And now I can just add the plush behind it. Let's he looks like he's like bald in the back. Yeah. He lost all of his fur. Yeah. Gotta grow his summer coat back. Yeah. Boop. All right, I'm almost done my pillow. I guess mm. I'm faster than you. You are. Not as fast as our, our kids at home. Yeah, the, the online Zoom crew, you guys are so fast. These are, I think they just like came to like show so us what to do, you know? You're right though, Jetta, when I, I was in school, I was the kid that the report <laughs> card said, Chloe distracts others. <laughs> Chloe <knew it. laughs> talks too much, but like, Look at now. Look at you now. You're plush free, crafting free on teacher. Zoom. I'm plush crafting on Zoom. So being chatty, it can pay off. All right. All right. I have getting, getting up to my last zone. couple of pieces. I wanna like race you. I wanna race you. No. Hmm. Oh, that was a different. One of the that was like an older one. I think we had a pony or something. Or somebody, no, yeah. somebody on someone camera. In the, had, someone in the chat's got a different uniform too. A different, maybe it's yeah, different unicorn that has yeah. like a little, like it has like a yarn. yarn mane. Yeah, which is cool beans and another example of just kind of like different unique pieces that can come with different 
kits. Yeah, like you won't have the same pillow twice or like the same 3D twice. But all the all the process is the same. All right, Chloe. I am done. Oh. My unicorn. I love it. Oh, isn't she lovely? Mm-hmm. That's a unicorn noise. <laughs> that was like between a neigh and like a purr. <laughs> yes. That's a unicorn, by the way. I'm trying to make sure that I don't plush these too close together. So I'm just gonna kind of give them a little zhush here to just kind of like fill in the gaps with the, the frilly fabric parts. Awesome. I think it looks a little better now. So I have a couple of other finished ones that I wanted to show you guys. Here's a kitty. She's super cute. I've got rainbow poop pillow. Oh. He's really funny. Um, earlier I showed you guys when we started this beautiful butterfly. And then I think I have one more to show you. I've got a pizza. <gasps> I think that's what I might have for supper tonight or dinner tonight. Yum. Some pizza. I love pizza pillow. Yeah, pizza pillow is super cute. So as you can see, I have a ton of leftover pieces. So every plush craft comes with leftover pieces. So as Chloe's finishing her project, I wanted to show you something that we could do with the leftover pieces so that we don't do anything to waste. Good call. I'm going to put my unicorn. She's going to watch me right there. Okay, so I like to use um, some recycled materials, anything I find around the house. So I found this piece of foam. We're doing uh, house renovations right now. So this is something that I didn't want to throw away and thought I could make a craft out of it. So um, if you wanted to look for something similar, you can also, um, you can find like a, a plate, like a styrofoam plate or a piece of um, craft foam that you can get in the craft aisle. Um, anything that just has like a little bit of, of squish to it, but not too squishy. So I'm using this foam here. I found this coloring page online mm -hmm. and I just printed it off on my printer. And I thought maybe I could plush craft uh, something using, using this template. So I've got my leftover guys here and I have some other leftovers from another project. So I'm gonna bring some of those in too. I've got yellows, Ooh. some greens. Ooh. So it's a lot like Chloe's, but then also like a mix of what I did with my pillow. So I have my stylus, but let's say I forgot where my stylus was or maybe it accidentally got thrown out. Um, you can use something else. So what I have, I found in my drawer is a mechanical pencil. So you want to make sure that the lead isn't coming out. You want to make sure that the lead's all the way in. And you can use this as a stylus just in case if you lose your other one. So I'm going to use some of my leftover pieces here. I'm going to use the purple. I'm going to start here and I can show you with a mechanical pencil. You just pop it in the same way. I'll do that up close. There it is. With my mechanical pencil. Pop right in. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna use my stylus because I like I like that a little bit better. I'm gonna keep poking. So if you want to have your own coloring page, um, if you want to use your leftover pieces. Use a coloring page that has um, bigger outlines like this. You don't want anything too detailed because the pieces are a little bit bigger. And it'll be really hard to get the really, really fine details. So this is a nice way to use like recycling and then also crafting. That's my favorite is using things that I would otherwise throw away and I can make something pretty out of it. And that one's also, the fabric is also kind of like flaring out. So it's covering up, it's covering, some, yeah. some, it's making a lot of good uh, space. Yeah, it's covering up those black lines, which yeah. is really nice too. So this is where your creativity can really come in because you can do all kinds of different things. Oop. Okay, I'm going to do some yellow over here. And this is actually a behind the scenes secret 
this is how we prototype new plush craft ideas. It's true. It is. It's true. It's true. This is how we started doing it. So the designers come up with a concept. There's something new that they want to try. Yeah. So you guys are really lucky. Olivia just oh. finished her panda pillow. Here. Oh, it's so cute. It's got a little <gasps> bamboo it's holding. That's what it, it looks so like, a little bamboo sweet. leaf. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. oh. That butterfly is coming along, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Robin. Yeah. So Robin's starting with purple. Some people pick, they sort their colors, they start with the numbers, and then other people are a little bit more chaotic. And yeah. Just go with just wherever they're however part. they feel like yes. is and, happening. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you're, you know what you're doing, it'll still get done. You know, have start. fun. Yeah. As long as you're having fun, that's the most important thing. Yeah, this is, it's very relaxing. Actually. It is, it's very relaxing. Um, so, the doggy project, it does take a little bit longer than the pillow. I do have, uh, I was so close, y'all. Okay, that was a really good effort. Really, really close, really effort. but I do want to show y'all different 3D options that yeah. we have ready-made that you may be able to find out in the wide world. Um, but here's, here's our done pup. I so I like the name Percy. Percy? Yeah. Okay, he's gonna be a Percy. So he's all done. Done so. Yeah, that looks super boop, cute. Beep, boop. And yeah, so that's sweet. Also, we've got a jungle set. So here's one that we made before. He's a little lion. Look at his mane, guys. Those are really fun pieces. Yes. Yeah. So he's got big mane, boop, 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 green eyes. Yeah, that's really cute. These adorbs, and then we've got a fire. Woo! And he's a little curly tail. And I see a panda Super over there cute. too. I oh see yeah, a panda pillow, but we also have a panda 3D, the big guy. Yes. That's Bam! Fun. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little bow. I like the cheeks. Super adorable. Oh yeah, and this the. the Cheeks are kind of like so iridescent, cool. yeah, which is amazing. And the bow, I mean, like this also uses like a little self-adhered sticker or Velcro. Um, we placed it here. Could have gone over here. Could have gone as a bow tie. You know what I mean? That's we, just how they felt like they wanted to wear it that day. Yeah, and just, just right there. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, sweet, so sweet, sweet, as sweet. I'm doing this, I want to show you guys something that I finished earlier. So mm. this is my same butterfly. And that's what I plushed earlier. So this is just cute to like reuse pieces. Maybe I can like hang it up in my room or like give it as a present to a friend. Um, so I wanna show you a couple of other projects that I did while Chloe's kind of setting up her hack to use your leftover pieces. Yes, because I have, a, have some hot tips as yeah. well. So you take it away, Jenna. I had a cool summer pineapple. Oh, cool. Oh, oh. So I also <laughs> had different pieces here. So I didn't have these left over. But I got a piece of felt from Michael's um, and then I cut out small little pieces that were like the pineapple crown and I just poked those in and I cut out the sunglasses with another piece of paper Ooh. and that's my summer pineapple realness, which is super cute. Serving summer pineapple Serving realness. So I've got another summer treat too. <gasps> He's a kitty comb. I love that. I, isn't it cute? So I use the same foam, but I actually um, cut in and around this. So you would need an adult to help you do that if you want it to be shaped. But I use leftover. I've got pink iridescent -y colors in there. Mm -hmm. I found some stick on jewels at Michael's too that I just like pop those guys right in there on the top to give them a little sprinkles. And I put a little cherry in his hair too, which is cute. That's adorable. So those are my hacks and like behind the scenes information about what you can do with leftover pieces. I also have a new addition here doing a hamster pillow. A oh, hamster! She's wearing a beautiful tiara. That tiara <laughs> is everything. I love that you showed up to the class with a tiara. And That's amazing. You're so it fashionable. Yuri. Yuri, you're so fashionable. Okay, Chloe, so tell us what we can do okay. with leftovers. Here's the project that I came up with. This is what I did at home. Um, C for Chloe. C for Chloe. Yeah. In case okay. you guys don't know. My <laughs> name starts with a C. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. So 
This was a combination of items that I picked up at a craft store. And you can get these at Michael's. That's like an embroidery hoop, right? Yeah, I already had it from around the house. Okay. But, um, okay, so do, 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 do. I've got the fabric that I, I used. Uh, this is a rice bag. Um, I don't know if y'all eat as much rice as I do, but this was once upon a time, like three kilos. And it's it's made out of, uh, what is this called? Burlap. Burlap. So it's a loose knit fabric that you can actually use your stylus and plush with. So, oh yeah, it fits like right in between like the weave and the fabric. Exactly. Okay. So what I did was I found this embroidery hoop at home and I took a pair of safety scissors and I cut this bag, but you could use any loose knit fabric and cut it so that it's a big square. And then I place it over top of the, into the embroidery hoop itself. So you stretch it over the fabric, click the, the loop into place and tighten the top. You wanna make sure that it's tight like a drum Here's one that I did earlier. And that's just using like a plastic mesh or something that. Yeah. yeah. It's like kind of like similar to something that's like you would put inside in like a drawer liner. For oh yeah. Like yeah. non-slip. It's, it's like a kitchen item. Right. So then I cut off the excess. So now I have a flat template. Then basically you can just freestyle and, and punch in the plush in the, in the little holes. Um, you can use the same stylus, you can use the same fabric pieces. Um, if you want to have like a pre-pattern, you could take like a, a washable marker and draw the letter C or whatever you want to do here, like an ocean scene or like a cat or a dog or whatever. Or if you want to just get wild, you could just go Let's do a different color than white because you're doing white on white. Oh, Let's that's do some true. like pink and purple. And pink stuff. and purple. That's easier to see for everybody. Yeah, that's true. So we've got a piece here. You can just basically place it on the thing and then just poke it and it holds. See? And then it's it's also a case like what Jenna mentioned before is that if you wanted to take it out and put it somewhere else, it's easy enough just to remove it and place it somewhere else. Right. That's super cute. So, boom, and they're fitting in there. You can go with whatever pattern you want. You could even draw it on a piece of paper ahead of time and just follow along like an instruction pattern. Oh yeah. Um, so this took me a really quite a while actually. I had originally drawn it on the front, I drew the C and then I drew little dots of where I wanted these longer pieces to go. And then I just went to town. Um, I went, used whatever colors that I had left from previous projects. And yeah, it looks really, really cool. And then you can take a piece of ribbon, you can always hang it on the wall, uh, whatever you want to yeah, do. That's awesome. We have some great ideas to use our leftover pieces. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, you guys, we want to thank you guys for joining us and having a lot of fun with Plush Craft. Um, don't forget to sign up for any more Kids Club lessons and classes. They're going to be running all summer. So just keep checking back to michaels.com and to see when the next one's happening. I think the next one is next week. So, I'll be posting the link right now to the group. Oh, good. Alexa's posting the link to the group. So this is perfect. Okay, well, Thank you guys so much for crafting with us. I can't, um, oh, I can see the panda again. I can see the, oh, let me see everybody again. Oh, yes. the penguin's done. Oh, awesome. The leopard, you guys yes. did such a good job. Thank you so much for joining us and, and, and you know, participating and, and ah. you know, doing this along with us. Because like, that's the half, half of the fun of craft and art is the Whoa, doing it hello. together. Koala oh, Koala too. Too. Nice. Yeah, we always have fun crafting together. So yes. we'll hope to see you guys again. Okay. Have a great summer. Happy pushing. Let me show the dog one more.